Our findings are first that uh, rural to urban migrants have a strong negative effect on labor market outcomes for urban natives. We look at uh, wages and we also look at wage employment, that is the probability to be employed for urban natives. We find a very strong depressing effect on wages. Uh, just to give you an idea, the elasticity is between 0.15 and 0.3. So that means that if you have a um, 10% increase in the immigration rate in the city, it means that urban natives wages go down by 1.5 to 3%. So this is a big effect. Uh, we also find a similar negative effect on employment, wage employment, which means that when you have more migrants coming in, you have a lower probability if you're an urban native to find a job. So that's for the urban labor uh, market side. Then we also have firm data. So we can look at whether uh, migration indeed moderates labor costs for firms. And we also find that with this different data set looking at a census of large firms. When migrants come in, it has a negative effect on urban labor market outcomes for urban natives. So of course we would not find that if we had a perfectly functioning labor market in China because when more people come in, then more people would leave or uh, the wages would adjust in urban and rural areas so that we would not see an effect on average in China. So the fact that we find evidence of a negative effect that more immigration depresses wages in urban areas means that the markets are kind of insulated from each other. So that when you have a migrant shock in a city, it does not uh, immediately spread out to the rest of China and the effect kind of keeps local, remains local. So when you have more migrants coming into a city, it moderates labor costs. So we see that in household survey data, we see that in firm data. So what does it mean for firm? For firms, it means that they can extract thicker margins, so they, they're more profitable. They make more profits out of sales because they have uh, to pay less in wages. They can just simply make more money, which means that migration is positive for firm growth. Our results show that when migrants come in, wages go down and firms' profitability goes up. So this is a clear trade-off for local leaders in, in Chinese, uh, uh, mostly Chinese coastal areas that receive more migrants. Because on the one hand, allowing more migrants to come in favors uh, growth, in particular in the manufacturing sector, which is what uh, our study focuses on, and at the same time has uh, very significant, important distributional consequences for the local labor force. So there's definitely a trade-off for leaders between the two. There are two options, either having the local governments compensate for that loss in some way so that everybody wins from this uh, uh, um, labor supply shock that helps firms grow, or maybe allow uh, migra um, sorry, urban natives to migrate more easily because that would uh, average the shocks overall of China.